Hello again. This is John, the MTG Peddler. I am back again. You know what that means. Oh, yeah. We've got another Heroes Beyond Death collector's box opening to do today. That's going to be fun. Now, I've been seeing a lot of stuff online about how these collector's boxes and what they're doing to the value of the standard booster boxes are doing. And I'm going to do a follow-up video later on next week at some point going over yeah it's hurting the value of the non-collector boxes boosters but why that's not a bad thing for magic in general all right so let's open these up i'll be doing that like i said sometime next week i don't know. i haven't put enough thought into it yet to actually sit down and make a 10 minute long speech about it or however long I'm going to talk for. I'm actually going to save the box this time. I threw the last one out. I don't know why. And I'm going to do this slightly differently than last time. Last time I actually took the time to research all the cards as I was opening, thinking that would be a good idea. And it wasn't. There was just way too much dead air going on in between packs. And it ended up being almost an hour long video. And that I don't feel like doing that. I want to get this over and done with 15, 20 minutes max. Hang on, I got a pop up coming up here. So I'm going to try. Good to go. Okay. Cluster, collectors, boosters box, pack one. Let's do it. So, like I said, I'm going to do this a little bit differently, whereas I'm not going to sit there and talk about and look at value right, right on the spot. I'm going to do a follow up video with like maybe like the top 10 cards that I pull out of these. And I'm not going to take the time to, to go over the Commons like I did in the last video. Again, just for time. It's a shame that all these top cards are damaged, by the way. I am not set up yet. Let me get my piles going over here. And I'm also going to uh, segregate my Mythics and my Extended Foil cards. Just to kind of keep a running tally. Like I said, from all the pack openings I've been watching, it's a general 6 to 8 Mythic average. I saw one person open up nine mythics in a pack, and I saw one guy get shafted and only at five. But those seem to be the anomalies. Everything seems to be in that six to eight uh, mythic range. And same thing with the uh, extended art foils. Um, those tend to be three. I think I saw one person open four, but they tend to be three. And those are actually where your money is in these packs. I mean, you might get some value out of like, you know, foil constellation art and stuff like that but the true value like the actual like bomb cards you want out of this is going to be in that extended foil slot so that's going to be where we're going to be putting a lot of focus on this and obviously we've got 12 chances so let's see what we can do uncommons break is spawn I'm trying to get this lighting right so you can actually see the cards better too i think i'm doing a good job at that but we'll we'll see Adomius prophecy Second uncommon. And we have a commanding presence. I do really, really like the foiling you've been doing. It's so much better than back when I used to play 10 years ago. The foiling was just nowhere near what it is now. I'm going to shift these over here because I don't, I'm guessing again I'm going to have a cat jump on like I did in the first video. So we have a foil planes and a foil island. That takes us to our ancillary, ancillary uh, slot. Underworld Sentinel. Let me shift this over here real fast. Done. All right, so now we have the extended art, rare or mythic, and it is Arasta, the Endless Web. And uh, well, so far we're one for one. Extended art. Foil Treacherous Blessing, probably the, one of the worst ones you can see in this slide. Not much value there, unfortunately. Not much value. Let me put that aside here. There we go. And hey, look at that. I'll take it. It's first mythic. Thassa. Probably the best one to pull. That's a Deep Dweller. And we have a Foil Annex. And for our token, we have. Human Soldier and the Pegasus. Pegasus token. All right, cool. So one pack in. 
We have an extended art foil masterpiece and a mythic. Not bad. Now what I'm planning on doing too, especially before the new set comes out, I plan on getting like an actual webcam so I'm not just recording this on my laptop so I can actually do like, you know, the over the top look so you're actually just washing my hands and not having to look at my fucking face. Just to make it a little bit easier, a little bit more professional looking. Go through these comments. But we'll see. I, I'm planning on Hopefully I'll get a couple more subscribers by then. So if you, please, if you're watching, give me a subscribe, man. It, I'm not going to hound you. Just give me a subscribe. It takes two seconds. The button's like right there. Push the damn button. Maybe I'll come up with better jokes or something. I don't know. Someone's got to subscribe to this shit. All right. So uncommons. Revlon Hoplite. Everyone likes watching packs open, and I will be opening them, especially, you know, we got, we're already looking forward uh, to the new set, which is I, Ironia, I believe it is. Ironia, the Beast Dwelling Behemoth something. I don't know. Meyer Triton. A little sniffly, I apologize. And our last uncommon is Blood Aspirin. Okay, start off with our. Planes, four planes, and a foil forest. Moving on to the ancillary slot, we have the Sphinx Mindbreaker. And what did I do? There we go. Uh, we have Thrix the Sudden Storm as our extended art non foil. Nadir Kraken. Foil, which is actually cool because I really, really like the foiling of this. I don't, it's hard to see in here, but you see that little, little guy in the back. Big old mouth and his tentacles all over the place. I love this card. It's not much value, but I, I just enjoy the card. Then we have a Renata, non-foil. And a Daxos foil. And we have the Seder token with a nightmare. Also a very, very cool artwork. Nightmare's really, really cool looking. I think it doesn't look good. Oh yeah. That's a cool looking token. Pack number three. So nothing, nothing great out of those first two. I'm excited for the Kraken. It's more of a personal one. I'm not gonna play it. But it's a personal one. Alright, so we have Nessian Wanderer, first uncommon. Soul Guide Lantern. Favorite of Iroas. Forest. And Swampy Swampy, or as my cover calls it, the Punisher Land. You can see why. All right, and so we have Tree Shaker Chimera. Storm's Wrath, Extended Art. Shattered Sky Foil. Then we have a Renata unfoil. Oh, there we go. That's nice. That's a she's showing up all over the place. This time she's foil. Constellation. There we go. That's something. And human and a goat. Nasty ass looking goat. There we go. So so far two mythics. One extended art foil. All right, three packs in. This is pack four. If I could open it, there we go. I used to do a lot of selling on eBay. That's actually where I acquired this box from. I was going through my eBay and I saw a lot of cards were not that they're bad cards, they had value to them, but they're older cards, older sets. They weren't moving. They were on my eBay for a couple months. I just love Vexing Gulls, by the way. I don't know. It, it's got to be my favorite 
card out of the set that's common. I love these guys. They win games. Bex and Gold wins games. So they weren't performing well, and I said, you know what? I'm going to take these things down. And I was looking on Card Kingdom, and my asking price, my starting bid on, or my, actually my buy it now option, was lower than what I would get from credit on Card Kingdom. And that seemed absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. I wasn't getting any movement on these cards. I'm coming to Felix. Phoenix Tactics. I'll never be able to pronounce that correctly. So I took them down and I sold them to Card Kingdom. I got a couple hundred bucks in credit. Got a box. Because these cards are more in demand. Storyteller. So these are going to actually move on eBay. So it just seemed ridiculous just to have all that stuff sitting there on eBay not selling. When I could get a box, sell these guys. Good. Glimpse of Freedom, very, very cool artwork. I mean, I'm not big on the actual dynamics of this card. But two, two mana draw a card and you can escape for five and three mana. Yeah, I don't like it, but man, that's, that's cool looking artwork. An island. And a mountain. And that goes a long way of saying like, there's two different things. There's the value of cards and what they're, what they're worth. Because the cards have value, but guess what? No one wanted to fucking pay for them, so they're not worth anything. No one's going to pay for them. And like I said, it's not like they're bad cards. It's just they're not in demand. They're older cards, so if I needed a very specific buyer. Everyone wants these new cards because they're going to be in standard. They're everywhere, everywhere. People want these. And we have a mythic. Look at him. I can remember his name. Athreos. The buy a box promo, non foil. Hey, followed by another mythic. Ox, extended art. Last box I pulled one of these guys in foil, non extended or non extended foil. You know what I mean? But that's two mythics, one box. Can we make it three? I haven't glanced down. Nah, we're not making it three. Set citizen champion. Foil. Oh, okay. We are going to make a three in this box. Or in this pack. Helioid. Sun crowned. Mythic. Constellation. Good. It's getting some value. Getting some value. And last but not least, we have Timber. In his foily goodness. That is in the wrong pile. Just that. And for our token, his human soldier. And a wall. A wall token. Now with the new cards I'm selling on eBay, I'm actually using it to promote my YouTube channel as I'm doing like a watch it be open. Why not? Someone's gotta subscribe to this damn shit. Eventually. Someone if I do enough of these, someone's gonna open is gonna start subscribing. So like I said, once I get some more people actually watching this, I'm gonna invest in a better webcam that way so I get you more angles and maybe actually figure out how to do editing on here, because that's one thing I don't know how to do. That way, so I can do graphics and stuff like that, just to make it an overall better viewing experience. Like I said, you don't want to just look at me. So, Scopos the Maze Warden. I hope that means there's not a labyrinth of Scopos in there, because I don't want it. It's not really worth that much. Well, that's a cool foil. It's, it's uncommon. I'm just taking a second, because I actually haven't seen the card in person yet. Triumph of Annex. That is a cool looking foil. I like that artwork. Again, not the best mechanics. It just looks really damn cool. Ah, here's one that looks cool and has good mechanics. What's it called? <laughs> El Elirios Entranced. Enraptured? Enraptured. That's a really fun card to play in Limited. And we have a mountain. And it's going to be followed up by a plains. Which is good because I sold a play set of these and it's actually got a pretty good amount of money off of these. So I'm very happy. The last box I had, I think I, I forget what I said I opened. I think it was like somewhere in the 350s that I opened at a value. And I've already made back 220 on eBay and I haven't even put up all the cards yet because I've been busy. I actually just got married yesterday. And my wife, my, my lovely wife is out there with the cats. Been, been together a long time. But I've been calling my wife for a long time, so finally made it official. It's my wife. I'm really excited. Ancillary card. Death 
fellow Warcry. Followed by Nylea's Intervention. I'm trying not to cheat too as I'm pulling these cards out because I want to be surprised with you. Let's see. Foil slot, Allure of the Unknown. Again, a card that's not really playable, but man, that artwork. Look at that thing. I get that foil on that box. I love that. That box is shining in that little kid's face with all the arms reaching out for him. That is, that, that's fucking cool. That's cool looking. I'm, I'm not big on art. That's cool. All right, followed by. Oh, yeah. Elspeth. Non foil. Extended art. Extended showcase art would be the best way to say it. Another mythic. <laughs> okay. Followed by a Calyx foil mythic extended art showcase foil. God damn. Again, not the most valuable cards, but getting back to back mythics, back to back planeswalkers. That's the second pack now. It had multiple mythics in it. We're doing all right. I am already up to seven mythics. So I've already hit the average of what we got. So hopefully we still have another stack. Actually, we have seven packs left. Hopefully we'll still get a couple more out of that. Maybe I can break some records on here. Like I said, the most I've seen open is nine. Ooh, another nightmare. I like this. All right. Pack six. Let's keep it rolling. I need some more of those uh, extended art foils. That's where the, like I said, that's where the money is. And so far, we only got one. I would love to pull a Euro. Uh, extended art, Nick Lotus. Nick Ancient. Anything like that in foil would be amazing. But like I said, we're doing really, really well currently. It, compared to the first box, I'm already way ahead in value. Let's go through these real fast. No one gives a shit about commons. Sage of Mysteries. Again, that foil really makes that water pop in the artwork. It's really, really cool looking. Nessian Wanderer. But very not cool looking art, if you ask me. I don't like it. She did that. Matt Stewart. Sorry, bud. I don't like your art. Oh, cool. Daxos. Non-constellation art. And I swear, all these demigods, the non-constellation artwork is so much better. It's got that cool ass, like, face-looking shield on them. That's a cool-looking card. Forest. And a swamp. I like the fact that I'm getting a very good variety of these, because I like selling lands and play sets. I feel like that's the most desirable way to sell them, so I really want to get a good spread of lands. All right, ancillary card. Mine Rack Harpy. Not much there, but that ancillary slot really isn't that strong to begin with. Like, the best you can do out of that is, I don't even know which one it is. I think it's the Ironside Hydra, and that's going for, like, five bucks. I guess it's the uh, Atrios. He's going, I think, for, like, seven bucks. Ish. The last time I looked, I think it was, like, seven bucks. So it's not really a strong slot. It's the back four that you really want to do. Okay. Bronze Hide Lion Extended Art. Cool card. Wrong pile. Oh, I screwed up all kinds of piles. I'll fix it later. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Foil right. is going to be Temple of Abandon. Then we have Daxos, non polar constellation. Followed by Daxos Foil Constellation. Not a very good pack there. Like I said, we, we really, th that first hit of the box, we really hit strong, so I'm not surprised to have a dud in there. Human Soldier and a Wolf. A little Happy Wolf. Let me just give me a second here to kind of get this stuff back up. Okay, I need to stop pile. Somehow I screwed up everything. Nah, we're good. I thought I screwed it up, I did not. Pack seven. Already halfway home. These things go fast. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. I am a little sniffly today. All right, so just to repeal. Another Sage of Mysteries. And personal favorite for limited play. Vanishing light. Really cool looking foil there. 
That guy's going to town on somebody. And he had it. No. And in his land. Perfect jewelry card. Serpent of Yawning Depths. Full art. Citizen Champion. How many guys? How many of these am I going to get today? Jesus. Second or third one already feels like. Foil card. Shiok's Erasure. And then we have Timur Calls the Dead. We all hate this card because it costs about 22 cents. And Foil Daxus. Right, kind of slowing down a little bit. Hopefully we'll pick up the pace a little bit. Human Soldier. Kraken Token. So if you actually did buy off of my eBay and uh, are watching, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for buying my cards. I hope you enjoy. It. I hope you. I, on, I honestly hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I hope you. I hope you get to build fun decks with them. I hope you can enjoy playing them. And I appreciate you looking at my auctions and taking the time out of your day to, to watch one of these videos. I, I, I really do appreciate that. I know I'm nobody. I don't have a name. I'm just a guy that likes this game, likes it enough to keep at it, even though I've been at it for so long. It's nice to kind of. That dip my feet back in the game. We've seen Horn Beetle. Warden of the Chain. Entrancing Liar. Let's see. Mountain. And a forest. Come on. Let's, we only have one extended art foil. Come on. How many packs in am I? Okay, get an update here. I think this is pack seven. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, four packs up. This is pack seven. I, I, we need to get a couple more of those. We need two more of those for me to be happy. I'm, 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 I got seven mythics. I can't be that upset, but still. Ah, come on. Some light hop light. Who wants to see a common in that slot? Nobody. Nobody wants to see a common in that slot. Full art. Non foil. Wave Break Hippocamp. I don't believe I've actually opened this guy yet. Cool looking guy. Hey, see that? All I gotta do is complain about it. I mean, it's again, it's it's an, it's unfortunate. That's the money slot, but Bricks the Sudden Storm. I don't believe there's much value in either of those, but what can you do? Then we have Calafy, non foil, and an Annex. Oh, got a satyr. Goat token. Yeah, like I said, it's, it'd be really nice to open up a bomb and just be like, boom, there's my box. Extended our foil euro. And that's 100, 100 bucks right there. That would be something. I've seen two of them open. Via videos, obviously, but still, I've seen two of them open. I know they exist. They're out there somewhere. They're out there. It's waiting for me. Sweet Oblivion. Another card I like. I like I like the graveyard play in this in this set. Shimmering Chimera. Enemy of Enlightenment. Is that forest? And another island. Alright, so ancillary card. Ashiox Forerunner. Rare. Nothing great. Then we have Full Art. Temple of Enlightenment. I love all the temples. Love them. I mean, they're Scrylands. It's nothing that's going to blow your, melt your face off mechanically. But just the artwork on that thing. Look at that. Let me get a little closer in there. Look at that card. How gorgeous that is. I want that to be my house. And that pretty river with all those cool boats. I, I like that. I like it a lot. All right, so we have Erebus' Intervention Foil. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Underwhelming. Let me fix this real fast. All right. Non-foil. Calyx. Second Calyx. 
Last box, I got one of these total. That was my only Planeswalker. I have three Planeswalkers right now. Two Calyx and an Elspeth. And Renata Portal. Cool. Seder. Goat. A lot of Seder goat, goat tokens. All right. Three packs left. I am at eight Mythics and two Extended Art Foils. So we're... We're way up there with Mythics. I would love to get to 10. I've yet to see anyone open 10. I got three packs to do it in. One pack had three Mythics in it, so who knows? Maybe we'll get there. Okay. Another card I really like in foil. It's uh, Siona. Very cool looking card. The sky and the, and the water really, really pops in the foils with these. I absolutely love it. Another Mystic Repeal. Card doesn't pop nearly as well. And Inevitable End. Alright, move on to lands. The Mountain. And an Island. Ancillary card. Victory's Envoy. And move on to an Ashiox Erasure uh, Extended Art Non Foil. Piles. Okay, there we go. That is absolutely something. That is absolutely something right there. I believe we're looking at a forty or fifty dollar card. Underworld Breach, full art or extended art foil. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. That makes up for it. That makes up for those couple packs that really sucked out loud. With an annex, non foil, and why not an annex foil. Cool. I was hoping to see a mythic out of that. And Human Chill Soldier. And also another artwork I really fucking like. Look at that ref reflection. That is really cool. I like the reflection token a lot. So that, that works. Underworld Breach. I was hoping to get one out of the three. Well, I have two more packs. I might have, I might have more. But like I said, I think I've only seen four open once. So... It's nice to get an actual bomb card out of this. That's a good card. That's going to sell. I've not seen this card yet. I've not opened this card yet. Rise to Glory. Pretty cool looking card. Mirror Shield. Not so cool looking card. Hateful Idyllian. And then we have a Swamp. As Chris calls them, the Punisher lands. And Montaña, mountain. All right, ancillary slot. Swimmer in nightmares, non foil. And then, hey, okay, I said I didn't open it once, now I open it twice today. Deer Kraken. Not much value, just a cool looking card. And it's much cooler in foil, I think. That little, that Kraken head in the back there just pops so well out in the foil. Okay, sure. Why not? Nylea, Keen Eye. That's our ninth mythic foil. That is value. That is value. Then we have a Timorate. Non-foil. And for sure, fuck it. Timorate foil. We are at nine mythics. Nine mythics. Human. Spider, spider. Nine Mythics, so that ties me with the most I've seen opened, and I've watched enough of these damn fucking videos. Nine, nine Mythics is a lot, and that Underworld Breach really helps us out, because those first two Masterpiece cards sucked. Very, very good box so far. Very good box. Let's see if we can go out with a bang here. Give me something, give me something huge. Come on, Euro. That's who we want to see. And again, Demigods are so much better in their non-constellation. Hang on, where's she at? That helps I tell it the right way. I don't, I think that is such better artwork in the non-constellations. I think that Wizards really missed the mark with that, what they, what they could have done with the constellations. I think they had the, the promise, but they just didn't deliver on them. I don't even remember what I'm looking at here. <laughs> Citizen Petitioner. 
Accolade of Affliction. Another cool foil. Swamp. And a Plains. All right, last, last go, last pack, last money card. So let's let's, get, let's open something cool here. Terror of Mount Bellus. Ancillary. Oh, okay. Dryad. Extended art. Non-foil. Still worth something. Easily a twenty dollar card, I believe. Foil mantle of the wolf. Card no one wants to see. The Crow and War. And I have not cheated and looked at this last card. Can we get that tenth mythic? Can we get it? Nah. It's Calfy. Actually the first one I've opened actually. Seder token with the Pegasus. So not bad. Not bad at all. So we're looking at the one, two, just to confirm, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythics and the three extended art foils. It was a successful box. I'm very, very pleased with this box. We got the three. So like I said, I will be doing a follow-up on this video to give like a top 10 cards that I pulled on this. I do hope you'll uh, tune in for that. And like I said, please like, subscribe. Tell your friends to make fun of me. I don't care. Do whatever you want. But just watch. Subscribe. I'll be seeing you. Take it easy.